it's really nice to be able to control your own destiny and not to have anybody kind of being able to tell you what to do. And I think that's given us the agility and the flexibility to really just do the right thing and move quickly. My name is Stefan Goss, I'm 29 and I'm the CEO of Zito. You know, I came to the US when I was 19 by myself. Uh, I was supposed to do one exchange semester and I just stayed. I just never came home. <laughs> I was in college, I'm foreign, so I wasn't allowed to have a job. I needed money, and so I tried to figure out how to make money online. So I started samples.com, and so the website became very popular, but we struggled actually driving revenue. So one of the things we started doing is we started asking the visitors that came to our website questions. And we used those questions to target ads to them. And so basically we found very specific data points about our users that they volunteered, and then allowed advertisers to show ads against that data. And so about two years ago, we took the technology we built, uh, we spun it out into a separate company called Zito, and that's what, that's what I've been doing since. It's a tool for publishers to, to monetize their user base. Most advertising is very data-driven, but the data is really collected through a whole bunch of other mostly kind of implicit uh, methods. Um, I think we're very different because we actually just ask. So I think that really gives our advertisers an edge and it's completely transparent to the users as well. Well, so one of the big trends we're seeing is that Facebook and Google basically are just absolutely dominating the online space. That trend of the consolidation towards just the huge players has really been tough on the smaller publishers. So what we're hoping is that it doesn't keep consolidating on that side to where the smaller publishers get pushed out and then there's less of diverse content out there. So I think we've made a ton of really bad decisions, but we've always been strategic enough about it to make them not so bad that everything sank. We're completely bootstrapped, all of my companies are, so we've never raised any money, um, and so being very conscious about not making any mistakes big enough that you can't afford. I have never had a boss, I've never had a job actually. I never really picked up any of those, anybody else's habits either, so I was really able to kind of develop everything kind of from scratch. 